decided to do things a little different today, enjoying the rest of the semi-good weather that we have here. We've had a real Indian summer for this fall, and considering that I'm sitting outside in mid-November, Thanksgiving's next week, and all I need is a light jacket, some fingerless gloves, and a scarf, I'm, I'm going to say this is pretty good weather. There's two things I want to talk about today. Um, the first one is there's a meeting tonight held by the Free Inquiry Group of Cincinnati um, and it's being sponsored by the Cincinnati Coalition of Reason and the only little blurb that I saw about it in the paper was that they're going to be discussing the billboard that was up um, which I will have a link to the article in the sidebar whichever the fuck way it is I fuck that up every time so you know where the sidebar is I'm going to a meeting tonight to discuss this and the whole reason that I'm going to this meeting is because I want to see if people are going if, if people are planning to take action against this there's no reason the billboard should have been moved there was no reason that there should have been complaints about it death threats especially and I really want to see if people plan to do something about this, as they should. I don't necessarily like to go to atheist, uh, skeptical, secular meetings because they do become echo chambers, and sometimes that's nice just to have the validation that there's other people in your group that feel the same way, but um, overall I don't feel that that's really conducive to what I'm trying to do. And so they're having a an open mic tonight, so if nobody brings up the fact that action needs to be taken, I'm going to bring it up. So uh, I will have the foresight to bring some sort of note-taking devices. Um, I would really like to record the meeting, but unfortunately I don't have a very good camera. And that really blows, because I would I'd love to put that on YouTube. The second thing that I want to talk about is something that I've kind of been putting off talking about because... Uh, one, it makes me extremely angry, and so I feel like I would just get over-emotional about it. And two, I feel like it's such common sense that I shouldn't have to talk about it, but obviously I do, because people are still fucking it up. Um, I want to talk about the autism and vaccine thing that's going on right now. I don't even want to call it a controversy, because there is no controversy. <laughs> This makes me so angry to talk about and to think about, but I'm going to do my best. Most of you probably know about the thing that's going on, but if you don't, I'll try and bring you up to speed really quick. People started thinking that they saw a link between their children having autism or developing autism and the vaccinations that they were receiving as a young child, these vaccinations being um, a three-in-one for rubella, measles, and mumps. So for some reason, a bunch of people thought, or a bunch of people blamed the preservative Timerosol that was put into these vaccinations as just that, a preservative. So in 1992, a lot of scientific, well-researched, well-conducted studies were done on this preservative Timerosol and it was determined that there was no link, absolutely none, between the two, between the preservative and autism. But since it wasn't something that needed to be in the vaccination, they took it out. So the preservative Timerosol has been out of the vaccine for 17 years now. And still to this day, people are blaming Timerosol for autism, which is completely factually inaccurate. There's there's no link. There's none at all. There's, like I said, there's not even a casual link between the two. Here's what happens. At the time at which a young child receives all three of these vaccinations, which is at once, they receive three vaccinations at one time, that is about the time that autism would start to make itself known through whatever symptom. So, when parents start to notice that their kids are acting differently than they used to, they link A to B, which is unfortunately the way that the human brain works a lot of the time. But because of this, they've linked autism 
to the fact that the child has received a vaccination coincidentally at the same time that autism starts to develop in the brain or make itself known rather become symptomatic well because of this people have stopped vaccinating their children because of people like Jenny McCarthy and by proxy Oprah Winfrey for letting that complete cunt on her show all of these celebrities who very obviously have a good medical background these people are become are coming public and saying because of getting the vaccination my child has become autistic which is 100 percent untrue and impossible it's not even implausible it's just impossible people have stopped vaccinating their children because oprah winfrey gets what four million viewers so that's a lot of women and men i'm assuming watching that show taking something that jenny mccarthy who used to eat her own boogers on mtv taking her seriously and because people have stopped vaccinating their children there's now outbreaks of things that were completely suppressed such as measles mumps and rubella things that we haven't seen in decades are now becoming a problem and that's ridiculous that they should not be a problem so this makes me angry because now kids are dying from diseases that are easily preventable easily preventable not only easily preventable but I believe that in some parts of the United States they're even required by law before the kids start attending preschool or kindergarten or first grade, whatever. So because of a few people's ignorance and unwilling to look into the actual research put behind all of these things that they hold to be true, kids are dying. And that is, that's what makes me angry. So there's absolutely no reason that children should be dying because of poor decisions that their parents make. When you're a parent, your responsibility to your child is to keep them 100% protected from all the things that could possibly endanger them, um, especially in a physical way. And vaccinating your child happens to be one of those things. So I just think it's absolutely ridiculous and selfish not to have your child vaccinated. You're relying on the health of the other children around them to keep them healthy. And there's no 100% guarantee for health. There never is. So it's just not fair in general. I really hope that this fad just phases itself out because when I have kids, um, I don't want this to be a concern for me. I plan on getting my children vaccinated, very obviously. But I don't want to think that there's other children in their class who are not vaccinated that could possibly endanger my child's life. We're in the year 2009 and kids are dying from measles, mumps, and rubella. Come the fuck on. Get over yourselves. Do a little research. It doesn't take much, trust me. And just do the right thing for your kid. It's not fucking hard. So that's my rant on that. I'll get back to you guys after the FIG meeting and let you know what happened, if anything. Cross your fingers that something's happened because I put a little more faith in uh, atheists, agnostics, and humanists to get things done when they're angry especially. So let's hope everyone's good and riled up for this meeting.